Hi guys and welcome back to St Dunstan's Kitchen uh, in my pantry. Hope you're well, keeping safe and more importantly looking after yourselves. Okay, what's the plan for today? Really fun, simple, interactive one today. Okay, this is all about the fun um, and totally enjoying yourselves, all right? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do some happy, smiley pizza faces. All right, so. If we pan around to see what we'll need from our larders, okay, so I'm just gonna talk you through some of the basic things you need, all right? So well, today we're using wholemeal pizza breads, all right? Not only are they good for our tummies, all right? I'm sure pretty much most people have got something in their freezer like a wholemeal pizza bread or a French stick or some buns. It generally really doesn't matter what you use. You can even make your own pizza dough if you want to. The whole point of this, as I said, is just the fun and the interaction. So what we need, we'll need pizza breads or some kind of base. All right, we need, I've got some grated mozzarella cheese here now. So, but you can use Fretz mozzarella, you can use Parmesan cheese, you can use pretty much anything you want with the cheese. And then we've got some basic tomato sauce, all right? So this is just tin tomatoes, blitzed down, mushed up with a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of tomato puree. And then we move on to our toppings. So again, get into the fridge, get into that bottom part where all the vegetables and stuff is. We've got some spinach, we've got some chopped basil, we've got some leeks, everybody's favorite sweet corn. We've got some half cherry tomatoes and we've got some charito or you could use pepperoni or you could use ham or chicken. And then we've got some mushrooms. And the idea of what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna do all these to create our faces. Right, so let's get cooking. So, we've got our two pizza pizza bases, all right? So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of our, our tomato sauce, and we're just gonna put a little bit all the way around. Just leave a tiny little gap around the edge. Okay, the great thing about this is, all right, so you can do whatever face you want. So you can do an animal, you can do a picture of mum's face, brother's face, you know, like a mental picture in your head, or daddy's face. Um, I'm sure most of the dads nowadays have got ever increasing beards. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is we need to think about what's on our face, or what's on our face. So we've got, we've got a nose, we've got ears, we've got eyes, we've got lips, and we just wanna try and take that mental picture and try and recreate it. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try and make a bird. I think we should make a bird. So I'm gonna take my chorizo, all right, so I'm doing this upside down, so it's a little bit more complex for me. All right, so we're gonna put our feathers on, just like that. And as I said, you can use anything you want. So you can use ham, you can use chicken, whatever you, whatever's your favorite. All right, so let's put our, our feathers at the top. There we go. And then we're gonna take a, a little bit of cheese, and we're just gonna put that down the bottom. Again, as I said before, it doesn't matter, you can use fresh mozzarella, grated trees, grated cheddar, whatever you want, there we go. Right, so what do we need now? So we need some eyes. Right, so let's put our eyes on. Let's take two eyes. I think we've got two eyes, everybody's got two eyes. And then we're gonna take two of these olives. Olives are lush. If you've never tried an olive, if mummy or daddy's got them in the fridge, then definitely try one. All right, so we've got some, some fresh basil here, which is absolutely beautiful. Slightly sweet, slightly aniseedy, but lush on pizzas. So we're gonna put that around the bottom. Don't worry about it if you make a mess. There we go, and now we need a nose. All right, so, in with a little bit of carrot. Everybody likes carrot. In we go, it's not gonna stay on there, is it? There we go. Right, so what should we do next? I think we should focus on our teeth. Teeth are really important. I hope everybody's brushing their ears. So we'll have a little bit of cheese around the side, or cheese around the side. They can be like our cheesy ears. And then we're gonna do we're using some mushrooms, so the stalks off the mushrooms, so at the bottom of the mushroom, you've got the stalk that comes out, just take them off and they can make some little crookedy, crookedy teeth at the bottom, like so. And then I think we'll use another olive for our nose. There we go, and now we need some eyes. What can we use for eyes? So we've got some leeks. So if you ask mummy or daddy to cut the leek and cut it into round circles like eyes, Put them down like that, and then I think we'll go cherry tomatoes once more. Here we go, it's just missing something. What else have we got enough? Eyebrows, that's what we need, eyebrows. We haven't got any eyebrows. We'll use some, we'll use some sweet corn. Everybody loves sweet corn. Right. Put our little eyebrows around the top. And there you go. 
And there you have it. Two happy, smiley, wholemeal pizza pitters ready to go into the oven. So you will need a baking tray, a little bit of silicon on it, or a little bit of paper. We're gonna carefully lift those on. All right. Grab your mum and dad now. Get yourself, don't need an oven cloth at this stage because these one's cold. And then we're gonna pop these into the oven about between 160 and 180 for about seven or eight minutes or until they look absolutely lush. So, pop them here. And take out the oven cloth. Look at that. All right then. Okay. Get yourself a nice serving plate. Happy smiley pizza faces. Enjoy. See you next time.